Hi guys, David here. I wanted to show you the roll marks on my Glock. Let me bring it up a little closer for you. First, let's safety check it. Drop the mag, check the chamber, and it's empty. That's the roll marks. Some people ask me how I do it, and it seems like people either really hate them or they really like them. For me, my eyes are getting older and it's hard to see things, so I like to put them on the mags so I can sort out my mags. So, Also, I think it doesn't look bad. And if you don't like it, you can certainly remove it with a toothbrush. And uh, the toothbrush is great. After you're done, you could brush your teeth and it really makes your teeth whiter. So some people use white fingernail polish. And I use something called the lacquer stick. This is what the lacquer stick looks like. Actually called lacquer stick fill-in paint. I got it from Brownells. And uh, let me put a sheet of paper down so I don't mess up my table. There you go. After a, a week or so, the a skin forms on the top of the lacquer stick. <coughs> Excuse me. So you actually have to take your fingernail and rub that skin off. <coughs> so you could get some fresh paint filling into the indentations. If you have a shallow roll mark, it's not going to hold very long. The Glock happens to have very deep roll marks and it lasts pretty long. So I'm going to degrease it with a little alcohol. Just rub it in there. Let it dry. This mag is from my G21. And I'm going to uh, rub it in with a circular motion to make sure that I get everything. I might as well go on down and get all the stamping. If you guys don't know about it, Ebomi is starting a radio show on Friday nights. Today's Friday, so it's going to be starting tonight. I hope you guys can pick up on it the next Friday. It's on the internet and there's a call-in phone number so you could call in and talk. I'm going to check it out. Ebomi doesn't know me from Adam, but he's got a great channel. I subscribe to it. Okay, in the past I used to use alcohol to to remove the excess paint but I found that uh, it left a haze on the bluing of the uh, pistols. So I've gone to using WD-40. And uh, that's the only time I let WD-40 touch any of my firearms. I just don't consider it to be firearm friendly. Here's a spot I missed. And of course, I left the WD-40 in the garage. I'll be right back. Yeah, I just bought this yesterday and I loaned it to my neighbor. So uh, be careful what you loan out. This uh, nozzle's broken. It's all, it's all filthy. Take a uh, piece of uh, non-lint, uh, non-terry cloth cotton. Uh, your wife's uh, old underwear works good. If it's her new underwear, make sure you hide it in the trash when you're done with it so she doesn't find it. I'm going to do another uh, another pass. Just 
Stretch a cloth over your finger tightly so the cloth doesn't dig into the roll mark. That's it. Pretty nifty, huh? Thanks, have a good day.